When it comes to buying soil for your in-ground or raised garden beds, the bottom line is you get what you pay for, but you have plenty of choices. So in this video, I'll break it all down and show you the best way to get the biggest bang for your buck when adding soil to your garden beds. No doubt when it's time to fill your beds with soil, you have plenty of options, and I'm always a fan of buying in bulk if you need more than a half pickup truck load. That's a cubic yard. And so you'll save a lot of money and you typically have some good choices from reputable companies. But if you're buying by the bag and there's nothing wrong with that, you're going to have a lot of options and it can be almost overwhelming when you go to the garden center and you look at that sea of choices of all the different bags and all the different names. So you start to wonder, well, where should I be spending my money? And you start to price it out and you say, well, topsoil sounds right. And that's what this bag is right here. I just sliced it open. It's only $1.68. So that sounds like a deal. But here's the thing you get what you pay for. So when you look at what's inside of that bag, really it's just semi-composted wood finds. Now that's not a bad thing and it's great as a component to the whole thing, but too many people think, oh, this is great for $1.68, I can get a whole bag and I'll just buy a bunch of bags and just save a lot of money and this will be my only input. That's not a good idea. This should just be a part of the whole and it doesn't even list ingredients on this bag that I can see, but I can just look at this and tell all it is is semi-composted wood finds. So not bad, but just not what I'm looking for as the total makeup. So now I'm looking at this next bag, and this is all-purpose garden soil, and it includes nine months of continuous feeding through synthetic fertilizer uh, additions. And at first blush, it doesn't look all that different from this first one. Now this one costs three dollars and 97 cents for this bag same size as this one but a good bit more but here we have some extra ingredients mixed into this in addition to the slow release synthetic fertilizer that will feed up to nine months you've got that composted wood and i even wrote down the ingredients from the back side and one other thing about these they're all regionally sourced when these are bagged up they're using regionally sourced materials so it can vary from one region to the next but on the back it lists forest products peat moss, core, sphagnum peat moss, and some fertilizers. So you've got a little more diversity in here. And for the extra money, it looks pretty good. It binds together okay, but actually not that much. It's kind of dry. So um, not bad. Again, it's okay as a part of the whole. So now let's move over to this next one. This is an organic product. It's called All Natural Garden Fertilizer for Flowers and Vegetables and it's good for in-ground and raised beds. And so I look at this and I can tell right off the bat, this has got more of what I'm looking for in it. Uh, I can squeeze it, the old squeeze test where it binds together, but then when I run my fingers through it, it breaks apart nicely, I like that. I like the look of this, it's more soil-like than just wood. Uh, and I'm looking at the ingredients from the back and it says processed forest products, uh, recycled wood products, arbor fines, sphagnum, peat moss, and humus, compost, composted poultry manure, and organic fertilizer. There's a lot going on in this bag, and this bag just cost under $3.50 per cubic foot, so uh, it's about twice the amount of money as this, but I like what I'm seeing here. And the other thing, if you look on the back, it says in Georgia, which is where I live, 80 to 95% of this is processed forest products, composted poultry manure, and organic fertilizer, so it doesn't have to include those other things, and that's okay with me. And I like the look of this a lot. So if I were um, willing to invest some money in my soil, this looks like a good one. Would I plant just into this? Probably so. This is looking more along the lines of what I'm looking for. And it's got the compost and the composted poultry manure and some other things that I really like. So there's more diversity here. And I'm looking for that when I plant into it. But here's something that I really like. And it doesn't come in a bag. I take that back. It comes in a bag. I just buy it in a cubic yard that's delivered because I like it so much and I use a lot of it. And so what this is, is a blend of composted cow manure, composted grass clippings, and compost. But if you look at this, it's really beautiful. You just squeeze it lightly and it binds together. You run your fingers through it, it breaks apart, and it's very consistent. I've been using this since I discovered it now, about four years ago, I've been using it consistently in my garden beds to top dress twice a year. But it's a great soil that you can plant directly into, and I've started doing that too. Now, cost-wise, again, you get what you pay for, so this is a little more pricey. At $6.44, I broke that down, per cubic foot. So of all of these, this is clearly more, but I believe that it's worth it, and especially after seeing the results of this. So again, the moral of the story is you get what you pay for. A little over $1.50, it's just really composted wood. You go up to about just under $4, and you're getting more diversity. 
you go up to about twice that or a little less than twice that, you get a lot more diversity. And if you really want to splurge, you're getting a good consistent product with this right here, which is called Soil Cubed. If you live in the southeast, you can access this, uh, but unfortunately they're not available around the rest of the country. So if you have a dollar to spend on your garden, put 90 cents into your soil, 10 cents into your plants, and you will not regret it. It's money well spent.